What is this small, possibly brass bell with a bass and a tiny tweezer? The top has a hanging thing, so it acts like a bell. It was found in my grandma's curio cabinet after she passed, and none of her children have any idea what it is or where it came from. The plastic bowl does not come out, and no markings on it. Any ideas? It's a 1960s saccharine container. Saccharin is a benzoic sulfamide that is about 500 times sweeter than sucrose. It was produced first in 1879 by Constantine Falberg, a chemist at Johns Hopkins University. Its popularity further increased during the 1960s and 1970s among dieters. Since saccharin is a calorie-free sweetener, there used to be little tablets out on the table instead of the modern packets. The little tongs were used to pick up the tablets and put them in your drink. I'm not sure what the purpose was for the bell. Maybe just a fun tea party thing. Or to ring to refill the bowl when it's empty. My grandmother had one for her little tabs of sweetener. What is this brass funnel with dish and holder? Approximately seven inches tall, not very heavy, maybe two pounds, and no writing. I'm unsure if the mesh parts are part of the rest of it, but they were found with it. I found it in a bin of assorted items with no particular meaning. The metal dish, funnel, and holder all come apart from each other. The funnel has four small holes at the bottom internally, but not externally, and the bottom seal doesn't seem to come off. Any ideas? It's an Art Deco-style silverware vase with a holder stand made around the 1960s. I found a similar one with flowers on it. And yes, the mesh parts are not part of it. What is this old hollow metal box with a sliding lid and some sort of hardware on the bottom? My grandma has had this for a long, long time. She is 76, and she knows it's older than her because her grandma owned it. It's over five feet tall. The top part slides open and shut and it's hollow inside. On the bottom, there's a valve that can be opened or shut too, and what looks like a dispenser of sorts. Grandma used it for dog food back in the day. When I put it through Google Lens, it just shows Victorian mailboxes, and the things on the bottom were not in any pictures of those. Any idea what its purpose is? It's an Art Deco brass coffee bean dispenser circa 1920. The top cover is removable for filling beans, with a front window to view the beans or insert an advertisement. At the front, there is a closable opening through which the coffee beans slide, and above is for the built-in shovel. What is this heavy leather with straps and loops I found at an estate sale? It definitely looks like it was supposed to carry something. The leather is thick, about 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters, and the hole on top was supposed to hook onto something. Any ideas? It's a bag for a Swiss mess kit, the so-called gamelle. These were issued to Swiss soldiers between the 1930s and the 1980s. The soldiers used them to carry their rations and extra supplies. And after some more investigation, this carrier were used exclusively for the cavalry. There was a smaller kit and bread bag combo for the infantry with a mess kit, flask, and bag. What is this jagged edge flat spoon with Rogers and Hamilton stamped on the backside? I'm gathering that it's a spoon, but why the shape and flat? This was my grandma's and I have no real context. Besides it's metal and almost six inches long. My mom said she's found the pattern is considered Aldine. I don't know what's going on, please help. It's a Victorian cucumber server crafted in an Aldine pattern. The Aldine pattern was created by Rogers and Hamilton of Waterbury, Connecticut in 1895 and has since been discontinued. The flatness would make sense for transferring a cucumber or tomato slice. What are these tiny rooftop rooms with windows and a fence on top, seen in Oslo, Norway? I'm curious about the purpose of the fence. So far, I've only seen them near the Grüne Locker district in Oslo where some of the buildings date back to the 1880s. Any idea what they are? It's a widow's walk, also known as a widow's watch or roof walk. These are also frequently found on 19th century North American coastal houses. The name is said to come from the wives of mariners 
who would watch for their spouse's return, often in vain as the ocean took their lives, leaving the women widows. However, there is little or no evidence that widow's walks were intended or regularly used to observe shipping. Widow's walks are in fact a standard decorative feature of Italianate architecture, which was very popular during the height of the age of sail in many North American coastal communities. What is this small steel gearbox found buried under eight inches of dirt? I found this object in what I assume was an old private dump on the edge of a hill. This was found along with a bottle that I have since dated to be from the late 1800s and various glass and metal. The gears are quite rusty and therefore some are broken or out of place. The object was not found near anything seemingly related and I dug out at least six cubic meters of dirt around it. Any ideas? It's the remains of an old clock. I recognize an escapement, which is characteristic of a mechanical clock or mechanical timer. In addition, the second picture shows what looks like a hook to which a pendulum would be attached to time the steps of the escapement. What is this small, probably brass tube with a hinged oval lid at each end found in a stream in the UK? It was found near a railway that dates back to the mid-1800s. On the outside of one lid is marked SY or SV, and some kind of character or symbol is stamped into the other lid. Any information would be greatly appreciated. It's a 19th century double-ended shot charger by Sykes. It has a partition in the middle and is used to carry measured powder and shot load when out in the field for muzzle-loading sporting guns. It is sprung-loaded, so it can be flipped open and quickly loaded another piece of shot into the gun. And each end could hold 1.5 ounces of lead shot. What is this vintage solid wooden turn tool with a handle and wedge type end? I found it in a thrift store with no markings on it and approximately five inches long. It looks like a printing wedge used to keep plates in place, but I'm not sure. I tried Google search to no avail. Any idea what it is for? Please tell us down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.